Practically all modern naval ships of the destroyer class or larger are powered by steam. The propulsion boilers of these ships are subject to steam side deposits which may be caused by ionized dissolved solids in the boiler water. Steam side deposits can clog the superheater, obstruct the flow of steam, and cause superheater tube failure, crippling your ship. To prevent this, the dissolved solids must be controlled. A direct relationship exists between the amount of dissolved solids and the electrical conductivity of boiler water. Therefore, conductivity values can be used to determine if boiler water contains an excessive amount of dissolved solids and if corrective action is required. Boiler water must be tested periodically, as scheduled in NAVSHIP's technical manual, Chapter 9560. In this film, you will see how to perform the conductivity test. The first step in performing the conductivity test is to prepare the test equipment. The conductivity meter must be connected to a 110-volt AC outlet. The meter contains a wheatstone bridge as its measuring circuit, a manual temperature compensator, and a cathode ray tube as its balance indicator, controlled by the upper dial. Make sure that the conductivity cell is securely fastened to the meter. This cell consists of two platinized electrodes firmly spaced within a plastic shield. Be sure that all the equipment is clean. If it is not clean, it could alter the results of the test. Rinse the thermometer, cell, and test beaker with some of the boiler water sample to be tested and discard the rinse. Place the cell in the beaker. Pour at least 200 milliliters of sample water into the beaker. Place the thermometer into the beaker. Turn on the meter and allow it to warm up. The tuning eye will glow when the meter is warm. Next, read the temperature of the solution using the thermometer. In this case, the reading is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Set the meter's temperature compensation dial to the corresponding value. Remove the thermometer. Move the cell up and down several times to remove any air bubbles that may be trapped on the electrode surfaces. The air vents must be at least one half inch below the surface of the solution. Allow about one half inch clearance at the sides and bottom. Then balance the meter's tuning eye. Rotate the upper dial until the tuning eye deflects to the widest possible angle with sharply defined lines. Here, it is shown far out of balance. Now, approaching balance and correctly balanced. When the tuning eye has been balanced, move the cell up and down a few times. The tuning eye should remain balanced. If it does not, readjust as necessary. Turn off the meter and record the meter's conductivity reading measured in micromoles per centimeter on the required water treatment logs. For 600 pound per square inch boilers and below, this reading should not exceed 1,300 micromoles per centimeter. For 1,200 pound boilers, it should not exceed 700 micromoles per centimeter. If your reading exceeds these values, it indicates an excess of dissolved solids and corrective action should be taken. 
Accurate testing requires that proper care of equipment be taken. Rinse the thermometer and beaker with distilled water to be sure that no deposits remain on them. Distillate from shipboard distilling plants is adequate for this purpose. Rinse and store the cell in distilled water. If it is necessary to store the cell out of water at any time, rinse the cell well before it dries. If this is not done, an insoluble coating may form on the electrodes. When testing, this may prevent you from sharpening the tuning eye, and it may appear fuzzy. If this occurs, do not attempt to clean the electrodes by hand. This could cause permanent damage to the electrodes. Instead, rinse the cell again with distilled water and test again. If this does not correct the problem, run a test on the accuracy of the meter and cell using Class I standard conductivity solution. This has a standard conductivity value of 1400 micromoles per centimeter. The results obtained with this solution should be in the range of 1300 to 1500 micromoles per centimeter. If they are not within these limits, or if the tuning eye cannot be sharply balanced, Contact a shipyard chemist at the earliest opportunity for assistance in locating the source of error. During periods of normal operation, it is extremely important that the meter and cell be tested with standard conductivity solution at least once every three months to ensure accuracy of testing results. By carefully and accurately performing the conductivity test, you will be able to detect dissolved solids before they have a chance to seriously damage your ship's boiler. Music